Want to be in touch with an important development in the 90s? Then come with me as I head out to meet a leader and an authority who's doing things that can impact your lifestyle. You won't want to miss this. So come on along for a special edition of Heartbeat of the City. This is Heartbeat of the City, the television show that focuses on professionals and CEOs who are making news in science, medicine, and business. For over five years, our show has aired coast to coast and has spotlighted more than 500 leaders and innovators who are impacting the lifestyles of their cities. Today, we bring you a special edition of our show that takes a look at one such innovator, our Jeff Shade is arriving on location now to cover that story. Well, Jim, it's called The Curse of the Genes. We look with envy at the glamorous movie stars and the beautiful people of Hollywood. It seems that when the genes were distributed, they got all the luck. And the rest of us, well, we were stuck with what we got. True? Well, maybe not. I'm about to let you in on a secret. You see, those glamorous stars didn't get all their glamour from their genes, but rather from this office. The office where many years ago, Dr. Charles Pincus first came up with a revolutionary new development that gave Hollywood's top stars something their genes didn't. Now, this was kept a secret by those top stars until just recently when it went public. I'm here in the offices of Dr. Eric Fouget, the very offices where it all began. Dr. Fouget, what was that secret and what did it give Hollywood's top stars? They were the Hollywood laminates created for the movie stars. They were plastic fittings made on for camera and personal appearances. So when the director said lights, camera, action, and they opened their mouths and they had those cracks, chips, spaces between their teeth, it was this very office that gave them that Hollywood smile. Absolutely. Now, is this the same sort of thing that everyday people can come in here for? Now, everyone can benefit from those techniques. They have been improved throughout the years. They're made of porcelain bonded over the teeth, and they're permanent. They're much stronger, much more beautiful, much more aesthetic. So in just a couple of short visits, anyone can get that winning Hollywood smile. But is there more to it than just covering mistakes with plastic veneers? Of course, there's much more to it. It's all about the art behind the smile. When we redo someone's smile or change the aesthetic of the smile, we consider the whole individual, the personality, the physical feature, the skin, the color of the hair, everything. Sounds like you're mixing artistry with dentistry, Dr. Faget. Thank you very much. Well, thanks to dentists and artists like Dr. Eric Faget, we no longer have to live with the curse of the genes. Now, in just a couple of short visits, we can change forever the bad cards that Mother Nature may have dealt us. What you have just seen was an actual segment that appeared on a recent Heartbeat of the City television show. It was an important segment to our viewers. So we went back to get the rest of the story, and here it is. Dr. Eric Fouget is the protege of the founding father of aesthetic dentistry, Dr. Charles Pincus. Dr. Charles Pincus, of course, invented the plastic veneer that he put over the Hollywood star's teeth to give them that winning smile. Dr. Pincus was also a close friend to many of his Hollywood star's patients. Among them, of course, Bob Hope, who did Dr. Pincus's eulogy. Also, he treated Shirley Temple, gave her a winning smile, Judy Garland, as well as uh, modern-day stars like Robert Stack. Dr. Fouget carries on now in Dr. Pincus's footsteps, and we're back now to speak with Dr. Fouget about his memories of working with Dr. Pincus. First of all, Dr. Fouget, where did you meet Dr. Charles Pincus? We met through my partner in Monte Carlo when I was in practice there. And what did you learn from Dr. Pincus as his student over the years? Well, he brought me here uh, at USC to study, to go through a postgraduate program, and uh, after that I started to practice with him for many years 
and he was my friend, my mentor, and my inspiration. Dr. Pincus, I understand, really looked at patients' mouths as an artist would. He saw it more than just, uh, you know, something that needed standard basic medical attention, cavities, fillings, things like that, didn't he? He really saw that it, it was part of someone's total image. Yeah, it, it was about, you know, redoing someone's smile and about reconstructing the whole mouth a lot of times. Some of those big stars were Hollywood were, were dental cripples and they just needed everything. And today you're carrying on that tradition, aren't you? Many of uh, Dr. Pincus's original patients, I understand, still do come to you, don't they? Yes, they do. I mean, we're, we're taking care of, of all those those patients and many others where we have a lot of celebrities and a lot of regular people that also want to look good. People who want that Hollywood image of that perfect smile because of course image is everything in Southern California and one of the big images is the way you smile and of course if it's important to someone they come to you here don't they? Yes they do and they also come from all over the world because the technique that we have developed here throughout the years are not acceptable to some part of the world. And they fly and they have veneers or bleaching technique done just, just to look good and to feel good. Besides the aesthetic dentistry that you do, the uh, bleachings, as you said, the veneers and so forth, what are some of the other types of dentistry that you practice here? We do mostly restorative and reconstructive dentistry, which include aesthetic and also implants. So now, people don't have to wear denture or removable denture. We can make teeth look good and, and with implants and bridge and veneers and crowns so they don't have to wear those, those removable things that were made in the 60s. So you also, I understand, do a full range of preventive dentistry here as well too, helping people pre prevent further problems, don't you? Yeah, it's part of, of the whole picture of aesthetic and beauty and, and health. And we have a team of hygienists and we are extremely involved in preventive dentistry as well. Total dental care is what it's all about here, isn't it? Yes, it is. I understand that you don't have to be a Hollywood star to come here, but you just have to want to leave looking like one, don't you? <laughs> I suppose so. Thank you, Dr. Fouget. And now, back to you in the studio. And there it is, a timely report that represents some of the new developments that impact life in the 90s. It was another focus of Heartbeat of the City. See you next time. When we appear again on your television screens with more stories that are the heartbeat of your city.